Hello everyone, my name is Max Phelan, CEO of Cumulus Incorporated. Recently, I was receiving lots of mail with about the same question. Why Hagios Wow Cube and what is it for? In this short video, I'll try to answer most of them. Imagine the 2x2 version of digital Rubik's Cube with powerful CPU inside, but instead of being solid color, it covered with 24 high resolution screens. Despite the fact that all modules of the cube are autonomous, they communicate to each other sharing data, so you can see the objects literally stepping from one screen to another. This is a smart and educational toy that designed to play in both virtual and physical realities. All icons you can see here are games or applications, but before I'll tell you how to play with it, let me tell you what problem it solves. Every kid likes to play, and it's 21st century now. So everything is digital, everything is interactive. Kids play on smartphones, tablets, consoles, but it's just for fun. Moreover, playing smartphones may be even harmful because they sit still and hold it close to their eyes. On the other hand, we have classical puzzles, brain teasers, something that you can fidget in your hands. Though that are good for development, something like Rubik's Cube. It's scientifically proven that Rubik's Cube makes you smarter. But those uh, classical puzzles became boring for modern kids very fast. So taking best from the bright and interesting video games and classical puzzles that are good for cognitive development and coordination, we combine them to one magnificent toy that designed to hold it far from the eyes, on your arm's distance, always thinking in three dimensions while you play it. Our team made many different games in different genre, like arcades, mazes, puzzles, uh, educational games. But again, even if you play the simple arcade on the cube, you always have to move something in your hands and think in three dimensions. But it's not just a gaming platform. While you're not playing, you put it on the charging station and the cube is connected to your smartphone using Bluetooth protocol, so it's basically always online. You could put it near the PC and use each of the screens to show you any information you want, like Bitcoin rate, weather in Los Angeles or time in Moscow. You can link it to your Instagram account and it turns to a digital photo frame. It can, it can be a weather station. Or you can even upload the application with a small pet lives in it, like a fish or a dog, and you can put it on the nightstand if your child is afraid to sleep in that. I mean, like a digital aquarium, the night lamp. You, you can feed the, the pet inside by tapping on top of the cube, watch it grows. So realizing how multi-purpose platform we create, we build an open API and software emulator to allow independent developers to make their own apps and games for WowCube and upload them to our store, which is already available for both iOS and Android, to sell it there or give it for free, of course. And here is our, uh, our plan to go to the market as a smart toy with pre-installed software on it and with time increasing our community we achieve the console market model, starting on money on selling software, in-app purchases, uh, or subscriptions, like recurring a revenue from the WoW store. Every technology you can see here is very well patented, uh, the way how it looks, the way how it works, but moreover, our team create the operation system from the scratch that determines the way how these modules communicate to each other. So it actually doesn't matter if it's 2x2 version or 3x3 three three or even a snake shape. So again, your kid will play games, stay tuned. And if you take the smartphone away, what will you give in return? Give them an interesting toy that will literally makes your kid smarter, that prepare them to the new digital world.